My dear convicts, the penitentiary has been chosen to participate to the National Prison Flower Contest. Hmm, yes. A $3,000 award will be granted to the winning penitentiary, and the convict's gardener's sentence will be reduced by 23 days. 345 days minus 23 days? How much is that? Fabulous Falcon will be your teacher. Hello, plant lovers. I hate gardening. I've read that some vines can grow up to six meters high. Hmm, turns out I can feel my green fingers coming back. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful, seeing the convicts stick in something other than tunnels. Get out of my plot! I saw it first, dwarf. Now, now, what's going on? This gardener no wants to steal my spot. I want to be close to the wall! It's my spot! I dug my tunnel under... Well, since he likes digging so much, take him to the hole. If the small nervous one likes gardening, I'll give him these seeds so that his greens touch the sky. There you go. That's exactly the way I want it. <laughs> Tall one is a good student. Green fingers indeed. Hey, but I washed them. It just won't grow. You need to wait several moons to see it grow. Hmm? I don't have time for this. In my book, they talk about a super powerful fertilizer, Mustang's dung. Does that work? I want some. Mustang's dung is a professional fertilizer. It's not for amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, or I'll turn you into vulture food. Leave the door open. We'll be back in five. We don't want encyclopedias, thanks. It's the Indian lottery. You have won the jackpot. Yeah. You're done or your life. Hey, Joe, why did we escape if we're going back to the penitentiary? To re-escape later, you idiot. That dumb dumb portal of the dung, I don't believe this. Oh. Oh. It's time to escape. Follow me. Catch them! Cool trip into the forest. This way already? Please don't move, Daltons! Surrender immediately! You'll never get us! <laughs>
<laughs> we can't leave without any food. think we're dead. We'll discreetly slip out to the exit. <laughs> Don't stay here, Miss Betty. This is no place for a lady. Go get some stretches. Oh, huh? Huh? Aha! Forget about the stretches. Just bring handcuffs. I've never been good at red light, green light. Thanks for the weed killer, fabulous Falcon. The penitentiary will be safe again. <laughs> I still have a bit of Indian fertilizer. This is our way out! Eat it! I'm telling you, that way you'll transform into a giant and you'll get us out of here! But, Joe, you know that it only works on plants. I do, but since he's got a pea brain, it should work perfectly. Eat! <laughs> Ah! It's the second time I'm getting stung on the bottom today! To have a plan or not to have a plan? That is the question. Ah! Oh! Giant chick, go pick somewhere else. Let me deal with him. I'll turn it into chicken wings. Oh, it's not a chick, it's an ostrich. Mr. Akuna Matata hmm? comes from Africa. He's a bushman. Uh, does he have a problem with his tongue or what? The Bushmen snap their tongues to express themselves. Mr. Matata is an ostrich specialist. He's helping us free these animals to replace buffalo meat. Ostrich specialist, huh? What's that? An Austrian? <laughs> <laughs> we'll need volunteers to set up an ostrich farm outside the prison. <laughs> outside the prison? I'm in. Hey, well, all the big chiefs of the country are here. We'll have to be diplomatic. Whoever manages to stay on more than five seconds will assist Mr. Matata. Oh? Piece of cake. Show me what you get, chick. Huh? Oh! Ten to one on Joe! <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! After three seconds, Joe is out. Uh, it almost feels like that chick is making it personal, huh? <laughs> I think they're mad at me. Do one on Crazy Jimmy. Hmm. Fifteen to one on Jack Dalton. Did I do well? 
We did well! The Daltons are inseparable, right, guys? Hmm? Are you sure you'll be okay with the Daltons? We'll give you Rinton Dumb, just in case. Good thing we kept all the files Ma sent us. Here's the plan. Tonight we steal four ostriches and ride them to whole gulch. They won't be able to catch us. And Matata? Hmm, no problem. Bullseye, Joe. And how do we all get out of here now? I told you guys we needed a plan B. That's plan B. We arrive, we eat them. If I had known it was actually a run. Joe, what do we do now? What? What's the problem? It won't be easy to jump over this. We're not jumping over it. We're going to be flying. Feathers, beak, wings. This chick is a bird. Uh, why don't you like me, you stupid bird? Why don't we just ask Matata? <laughs> what does he want? All right, let's get a running start and fly straight to the whole gulch. Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing back the Daltons. We'll keep eating buffalo. Ostriches are too modern for us. Goodbye, Mr. Matata. See, Joe, we're making good ostriches. Shut up, ostrich, or I'll eat you alive. An inheritance for us? Indeed, your dear uncle passed away. <laughs> We never even met him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's worse. We never even got to meet him. <laughs> I shall now read to you his will. <clears throat> I, Abigail Dalton, leave all my fortune to my nephews, Joe, Jack, William, and Everell Dalton. You are hereby the official owners of... Millions of dollars? A safe? An oil well? Of Marguerite. A cow? <laughs> Yes, your uncle was a bank robber and a farmer. <laughs> Sign below, please. I will send you the bill for my fee. Goodbye, gentlemen. Huh? What? But, uh, but, hey, wait! This is a penitentiary, not a stable! Very well, Margaret stays here, but under your care, Daltons. Hey! You want to become friends, me and you? <laughs> We're going to take nice good care of you, huh, Margie? I like my cows medium rare with a plate of French fries. <laughs> <laughs> no! uh, I'll send this walking milk carton back to Arkansas where it belongs. Hey there, that's an idea! She's depressed, Mr. Peabody. She's homesick. Here's what I suggest. Take her back to a green pasture, then we come back. <laughs> of course, only we can take her since we're her legal guardians. 
You want permission to take Marguerite away, just like that, completely unaccompanied? Uh, yeah, like I said, she's way down in the dump. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't seem very depressed. <laughs> Look at her! Look how bad she's just dying to get back home! She doesn't want to leave at all. Ta da! We've got a little surprise for you, Marguerite! A pasture haven just for you! You have to admit, she sure can pack a punch. <laughs> she could bust down a wall for sure. Bust down a wall. <laughs> what do you want? Margarita has got to go potty. <laughs> <laughs> So you know the plan. When she runs to me, you pull. The important thing is that she busts through the wall. Got it, Joe. Come on, Marguerite. Come and get me. <laughs> ah, you good for nothing, cow, you stupid grass chomping horn fly catcher. Hey, if she hasn't had her 12 full hours, Mom, Marge, you can't hear a word you say. Don't you get me started. This is not the time. Ah. It worked. Don't forget to pull. Ah. Ah. She was too fast for us, Joe. We'll see about that later. For now, we're out of here. <laughs> Alert! The cow and the prisoners are escaping! What's that? The herd is getting away! <laughs> Keep your comments to yourselves. I haven't ridden in a long time. Well, the whole family's there. No sign of Marguerite, Mr. Peabody. And even less of the Daltons. Let's go back. We'll resume the search tomorrow. <laughs> Ditch them! Now all we have to do is get rid of the cow! Stop! You're tickling me! All we got to do is confine her and take off discreetly. I'm warning you, my little Margie hates barbed wires. <sighs> Give me your clothes. <laughs> Why did you dress her like that, Joe? And what are we doing back at the penitentiary? I knock on the door, we hide, they find the cow, they think she's a new inmate. Lock her up, and we're free! Stupid cow! The Daltons! Marguerite brought them back! I didn't know cows could be sheepdogs! Uh, this ending is giving me the blues. You mean the moose? <laughs> Good one, huh? Give me the moose. <laughs> <laughs>